let's take a look at how to write variable expressions. On the last math quiz, Aiden got 11 marks less than the top student. If the top student got X marks, choose the expression that shows how Aiden did on the quiz. Okay. Well, if we know that one of them got 11 marks less, less than is a hint or a key word to tell us to subtract. When you're subtracting, you have to be really careful with the order, right? So the top student got X marks. Eden got 11 less than that. So we need to make sure we're subtracting the 11, right? That's how many less he had than the top student. So the top student had X minus 11. That's how many Eden would have, 11 less than the top. Dylan has eight free drinks from the school cafeteria. Choose the expression that shows how many drinks he would have left if he used X number of free drinks up yesterday. Okay, well, he's starting out with eight free drinks and he used up some of them. All right, so if he used up some and we want to know how many he had left, we'd have to subtract what he used. He used X. So if he started out with eight free drinks and he used up X, we're going to subtract that to see how many he has left. So eight minus X. Jaden really likes the color green and has eight green shirts. Upon investigation, he finds that there are X more black shirts than green shirts. Choose the expression that shows how many black shirts Jaden has. Okay, well, we know he has eight green shirts, and we know there are X more black shirts than green. Okay, well, what's X more than eight? Well, more than tells us to add, so that would be eight plus X. Now, remember, order matters when you subtract, right? It would give us two different expressions, but when you add, order doesn't matter at all. So notice eight plus X is not one of my answer choices, but since order doesn't matter, that's our commutative property of addition, this is the exact same thing as saying x plus 8. If a certain breed of centipede has 11 legs and a larger breed has x more legs, choose the expression that shows how many legs the larger centipede has. Okay, well the smaller breed we know has 11, X more than that tells us to add X. So that would be 11 plus X. And remember, order doesn't matter when you add. It does matter for subtraction, but for addition problems, you can say 11 plus X is the same as X plus 11. There were X kids at the park at noon and by 3 p.m. there were 11 times more kids. Choose the expression that will calculate how many kids are in the park at 3 p.m. Okay, well, don't let the extra numbers in this problem mess you up. Does the time have anything to do with it? No, three is not gonna be in our equation at all. We know that we started out with X kids and later on in the day, there were 11 times more kids. Right? So if we want to know how many kids were at the park 11, um, later in the day, it would be 11 times more than x. Well, times is telling us to multiply. Right? So 11 times more than x would be 11 times x. And just like with addition, order does not matter when you multiply. So 11 times x is the same as saying x times 11. 